Hey folks, Pixie here back in my Cube World world. Um, what was I doing? I just picked up candy. I think it was candy and I wasn't sure what that tamed, but now I know what that tamed, so I'm gonna go find me one. It tames a pushcat. So uh, I guess in this episode I will be talking to you about uh, how pets work. Step number one, find a cat. Uh, let's turn these on so I can see. And uh, now let's look for the pet district, so M to bring up the big map and zoom in on the city. There's a cat in the background, that's my cat, that's one of our cats, so uh, not her, she's just being noisy. Up in the pet district, when you talk to the NPCs, they tell you what animals like what food, they tell you things they've recently tamed, and there's a bunch of uh, tamed pets wandering around. So let's see if we can find a, a cat up here. Plenty of dogs. There's one pig. There's a sheep. There's usually bunches of cats roaming around the city. Scarecrow won't be taming the scarecrow. Um, so one comment I had on the last video that made me chuckle, was, had it this morning, was uh, someone saying he likes my videos, that I explain things really, really well, but that I sound so bored. I don't mean to. <laughs> But I, I'm thinking maybe that's because most big game channels on YouTube, all the big popular ones, are full of guys screaming and just being really hyper and crazy. And I'm generally not really hyper and crazy. I'm quite softly spoken, um, but I'm not bored. I'm having fun. Grendel is also having fun meowing there in the background. Okay, there are no cats in sight. Push, 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 push. Seven cats in our house and not a single cat in the world. Typical, now that I'm looking for a cat. So uh, maybe I'll just talk about pets until I find one. You can have as many pets as you like tamed. You can tame multiple pets of the same type, but you can only have one equipped at a time. So I'm picking up those um, mushrooms and stuff to make food and things later on. Um, yeah, you can only have one equipped at a time. There are three types of of pet, they come in three flavors. Um, let's just see if this guy is a friendly. Yeah, phew. Okay, there are melee pets that just run in and do damage. There are tank pets that generate more aggro, meaning that the thing that your pet is fighting will be more likely to attack your pet than you. I've noticed this doesn't work so well with mages because mages generate such a high amount of DPS damage per second that the uh, mobs seem to go for the mage instead. Um, but in theory, your tank pet, like the turtle, the turtle is a tank pet, will go for your tank pet other than you. So that's nice to uh, keep mobs off you. And there are ranged pets and uh, a cat. There we go. So you just have that uh, food equipped in your pet slot, run up to the appropriate creature and it'll smooch you with lots of hearts and then it's yours. So now I've got a cat following me around, cats and melee pets. Uh, so the, yeah, the other type are ranged, that stand at a distance and shoot things. Um, the ranged ones, I think, are, are healing pets as well. Now, I'm, I picked one up on one of my other characters yesterday, and I'm not sure if they just heal themselves or they also heal you, because I didn't really notice much healing for me going on from it, so maybe they just heal themselves. But anyway, that's handy anyway. Uh, it'll keep them alive in the fight longer, obviously. And some pets can also be used as mounts, but to do that, if I open my skill tree with X, you'll see I have a pet master skill there. I need to put five points in that, and that'll open up riding, and that'll let you ride any pet that's able to be ridden as a mount. So what I can also do now is hit enter to bring my cursor into the chat window and type slash name pet. Uh, the game doesn't let you have spaces in names, but there is currently a way around it. It might be patched out, but this is what you do. Let's um, call my cat Mr. So you put a space in, and then you hold control and press backspace. And the game thinks that the space has been deleted, but it's still there. Um, call him Mr. Bolifer. So there you go, Mr. Bolifer, my cat. So that's pets. You can't control your pets um, during combat. You can call them back to you, that's the only thing, but you can't um, say, go and attack that. It'll automatically attack whatever you're fighting. And also, 
if you're fighting more than one thing, your pet will attack what you, whatever you've done most damage to. So it'll always go for the mob you're fighting with the, the most damage done by you. Um, and that's generally a good tactic when fighting lots of things anyway. In any game, I guess, is to focus on one mob until it's down and then move on to the next one and so on. Let's uh, pick up some pumpkins so I can make some food. Um, another thing you can do is recall your pet to you with a T key. Um, can't do it now because obviously he's right next to me, but sometimes they get stuck. Um, sometimes you run into a fight and you don't want your pet there for some reason. Maybe you want to pull the, pull the fight back around a corner or something. You press T and your pet will return to you. Um, if that doesn't work, what you can also do is uh, B to open up your inventory, unequip the pet and drop it back in the slot there and then it'll spawn next to you. So uh, that's that. And there is a bug in multiplayer with pets whereby the game doesn't save your pet's experience. Your pet will level as you're fighting, it'll gain experience just like you gain experience. Um, but in multiplayer, it doesn't save that experience. So if you unequip your pet, if your pet dies, if you leave the game, it doesn't save it. So your pet keeps getting reset back to zero, which is really annoying. And also I've noticed when you tame things... Let's fight these, see if I'll get my bottom handed to me. Um, um, taming things in multiplayer... Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> Wait for my pet to respawn. Your pet doesn't die permanently, they, they respawn after a while. Um, when you're taming things in single player, they tame at the same level as you mostly. Um, if you're fighting something that's sort of the same level as you. But in multiplayer, they don't. They tame at, like, I don't know, a really low level. Yay, there's my cat back. Um, and there's one other thing I wanted to mention about fighting that I've discovered that's very important. Um, I knew that dodge was important in the game. That's your middle mouse button when you're moving and you dodge whatever direction you're moving in and it uses stamina. Is that you actually become immune to attacks for 0.6 seconds after dodging. Which is very important for staying alive, especially in tough fights when you're fighting boss mobs. Um, warriors avoid damage by having heavy armor. Mages later on get a mana shield that blocks incoming damage. Um, but rogues and rangers have stamina regeneration on their armor. That's the regen stat you'll see on armor. Um, that means they can dodge much more because their stamina will regenerate quicker. And uh, they need it more. They need to that extra dodge to stay alive. So this is pets. And you've seen me get killed. Yay! Um, let's see, I spawned somewhere. Let's run back towards the town. Um, another thing, underneath my, pa my pet on the left there, you'll see four blue drops. They are thirst bottles or thirst blobs. Um, as you ride your pet, it loses, it becomes more thirsty and, it, and those blobs drop down. And when they get to zero, you'll be kicked off and you won't be able to ride your pet anymore. And then you need to stand in water. And if you just watch those blue blobs, they'll go from four to five. There you go, five. Um, and uh, if I had the mount skill, now I'd be able to ride my pet again. So that, in a nutshell, is how pet works. Pets work, rather, and it's really noisy outside now. The garbage people are here. Um, and I think I will call it that for this episode. Really short one, but lots of info there about pets. Um, and yeah, check the wiki. I put the wiki link in the description. Oh, three nulls. They will kill me. Let's run away from those. The wiki has a list of uh, all known, currently known, tameable pets and what food you need to tame them. Um, and the, the individual pages for those particular creatures will tell you what sort of areas you can find them in. So I hope everyone's really, really enjoying Cube World, and uh, if you're watching this and you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. I will be posting lots and lots of helpful and fun Cube World videos. So um, have fun. Check you next time. Bye!